This video is brought to you by Squarespace, an all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. On December 25th, 2024, under the watchful gaze of the Atlas Asteroid Impact Early Warning System, a new cosmic wanderer made its grand entrance. Asteroid 2024, YR4, streaked into view, its path captured by telescopes stationed across Hawaii, Chile, and South Africa. The asteroid is about 150 feet or 50 meters wide, comparable to the length of a commercial airliner or the height of a 15-story building. When first detected, it had a 1.3% chance of impacting Earth, equivalent to a 1 in 83 probability of collision in 2032. However, further observations on December 29th increased the estimated odds to 1.6%, equivalent to 1 in 67 probability of a collision. That impact risk is significant enough to activate global planetary defense response procedures for the first time in history. And now, new calculations as of February 6th reveal a further increase in the odds of impact. We cannot ignore this rock. for the, It's the highest probability of an impact I can recall. And it has the potential, the possibility, for being an emergency for planet Earth. Welcome to Territory. This is your space. How do we determine the risk of an incoming asteroid? Enter the Torino Scale, a system designed to assess both the likelihood of an asteroid collision with Earth and the potential consequences of such an impact. 2024 YR4 has rocketed to the top of official impact risk lists on both sides of the Atlantic and has the rare rating of 3 on the Torino Scale that ranges from a no-risk 0 to a civilization ending 10. The only asteroid ever to have a higher score on the Torino scale was 99942, Apophis. It briefly had a rating of 4 on the Torino scale in late 2004, but the asteroid is now just a 0 on the Torino scale, which means that it has a negligible risk of impact for at least a century. Now, 2024 YR4 isn't massive enough to cause an extinction-level event or a global catastrophe. It may not be the world-ending apocalypse depicted in the Netflix movie Don't Look Up, but astronomers have significantly raised the odds of a direct hit from this asteroid hurtling toward Earth. According to NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, the chances of 2024 YR4 striking Earth in 2032 have increased to 2.3%, a concerning 1 in 43 probability. However, as more observations come in, this information is subject to change. The problem is, we have just a couple of months left to track this asteroid before it disappears from view. New observations will refine its orbit, likely reducing the chances of impact to nearly zero. But, if the probability remains in the same ballpark, we'll be facing a serious situation because the asteroid won't return into view until 2028, leaving us only a few years to make a critical decision and take action. We only have another couple of months to observe this rock before it goes out of sight. NASA has impacted other asteroids to see the effect on their orbit and their trajectory, and that has worked to a limited extent. But it might not work for this object. It may well be we might even have to consider the severe measures of sending up a nuclear weapon to the surface of this asteroid in order to deflect it further. With the current data astronomers have on the asteroid, they estimate not just one possibility for impact in 2032, but seven possibilities between 2032 and 2079, with the first possible impact date being December 22, 2032. Again, as more observations come in, this information is subject to change. But what if asteroid 2024 YR4 were to strike Earth? Calculations suggest that if it were to strike Earth, asteroid 2024 YR4 wouldn't end life on Earth as we know it as it's not large enough to do that. But it could be locally destructive, depending on where it hits. The impact could be comparable to the 1908 Tunguska event, where a powerful explosion, estimated between 3 and 50 megatons, occurred over Siberia, flattening approximately 80 million trees across 830 square miles of forest. Scientists, however, believe that the observation of the asteroid is still in its early days and that more telescopic data will most likely lead to a reassignment of its Torino scale value to level zero. In fact, most newly listed asteroids on the Torino scale initially show a rising impact probability as observations refine their paths until the risk drops to zero. The same is likely for asteroid 2024 YR4. 
At the moment, the asteroid is exceedingly faint at magnitude 23, and it is expected to continue to dim throughout February until it leaves our view. So let's ask the big question. Before that, let's quickly hear from today's sponsor, Squarespace, which offers the best tools for easy website design. With their AI-backed design intelligence, creating your unique digital identity is fun, effortless, and quick. Their website design system called Fluid Engine lets you customize every design detail with this extremely helpful drag-and-drop technology. Squarespace also has built-in analytics so that you can easily track who's coming across your new page. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com territory to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now back to the space rock. What if future observations confirm that asteroid 2024 YR4 is on a collision course with Earth on December 22, 2032? First, the potential impact is still years away. Plus, we've already tested our ability to deflect an asteroid. In 2022, NASA's double asteroid redirection test successfully struck Dimorphos, a moon of an asteroid, demonstrating planetary defense in action. Notably, Dimorphos was much larger than 2024 YR4, measuring 525 feet across. So if 2024 YR4 does pose a threat, we're at least somewhat prepared. What do you guys think? Drop in your comments to let me know. And while we're on the topic of asteroids, here's a pretty fascinating theory worth diving into. Every 30 to 34 million years, our solar system passes through the plane of the Milky Way galaxy. Coincidentally, during this time, as fossil records show, our planet goes through major ecological disasters that wipe large numbers of species off the face of Earth. To put two and two together, let's go back in time, some 66 million years ago. The solar system was approaching the galactic plane. Meanwhile on Earth, the Cretaceous period was nearing its end. The world looked a lot different back then, with land masses in places you wouldn't recognize today. This was a world of superlatives, where everything was bigger, weirder, and more intense. The Cretaceous was like Earth's rebellious teenage phase, with wild fashion choices and a go-big-or-go-home attitude. In the meantime, something was happening to the distribution of land. Continents had begun to form. We have all heard of Pangaea the supercontinent that existed long before the Cretaceous. Well, by this time, Pangaea had broken apart, but the continents were still drifting around like puzzle pieces. This period was one of the warmest in Earth's history, with tropical temperatures extending all the way to the poles. This meant that even the polar regions were lush and green, with forests of ancient trees and exotic plants. So where were the mammals, you ask? Mammals during the Cretaceous were small and insignificant, smaller than today's rabbits. Everything that lived on land that was larger than a meter in size was a dinosaur, unarguably one of the most successful animals to ever walk the planet, dominating the world for more than 150 million years, until that dreaded day. An asteroid bigger than Mount Everest was hurtling towards the Earth at a speed of 43,000 kilometers per hour. For context, the speed of sound is 1,200 kilometers per hour. As it tore into our atmosphere, the asteroid compressed the air in its path, thereby heating up so much that it could have been as hot as the surface of the sun. As it crashes into our planet off the coast of modern-day Mexico, it unleashes chaos on a scale never seen before. the impact is catastrophic. Apocalyptic, rather. The force is so immense that it sends shockwaves rippling through the planet, flattening everything in its path, obliterating forests and shattering mountains. If a technologically advanced civilization had reached our planet, they'd be surprised to see that the Earth looked very different than what it was when they'd entered the solar system. Yes, planet Earth had changed forever. The mighty dinosaurs that ruled it for millions of years were now reduced to fossils in the Earth's crust. But where did the asteroid come from? Remember we discussed in the beginning how every 30 to 34 million years, 
our solar system passes through the plane of the Milky Way galaxy. Scientists at the Cardiff Center for Astrobiology have found that as we pass through the densest part of the plane, gravitational forces from the surrounding giant gas and dust clouds dislodge comets from their paths. They're calling it the bounce effect. These comets plunge into the solar system and some of them collide with the Earth. This is where the asteroid might have come from, changing the narrative that it had actually come from the asteroid belt or the Oort cloud. The Cardiff team backed their claim with a computer model they built that suggests that as we pass through the galactic plane every 35 to 40 million years, the chances of collision with an asteroid or comet increases tenfold. Not only that, when the team matched the models with actual evidence from craters on Earth, it highlighted that we do suffer more collisions approximately every 36 million years. Meanwhile, in a different study, a scientist from New York University, Dr. Michael Rampino, has suggested that as the solar system passes through the galactic plane, it causes the Earth's core to become superheated, which would cause massive volcanic eruptions and potentially rift apart continents. Now, I don't know if the Deccan traps ring a bell, but towards the end of the Cretaceous, this was one of the largest volcanic provinces in the world, located predominantly in west-central India, which was on its way to smash with Asia. But what initiated the Deccan traps is still debatable. And while some theorists believe that it was indeed related to the movement of the Indian tectonic plate over the Reunion hotspot, recent studies hint that it may have been caused by the Earth's core heating up as we passed through the galactic plane. Meanwhile, the scientists from Cardiff suggest that while the bounce effect may have been bad news for dinosaurs, it may also have helped life to spread. They propose that the impact may have thrown debris containing microorganisms out into space and across the universe. This is close to a very well-known and fascinating theory called panspermia that proposes life exists throughout the universe and can be distributed via comets, meteoroids, asteroids, and planetoids. In fact, according to the theory, life on Earth may have originated from microbial life forms that traveled through space and survived entry into Earth's atmosphere, eventually leading to the development of life as we know it. Now, the somewhat bad news. Our present position in the galaxy suggests we are now very close to passing through the galactic plane. But don't fret as not all scientists believe that the solar system passing through the galactic plane causes an apocalypse. An astrophysicist at the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy, Corin Baylor-Jones, says that it is highly unlikely and the chances of it are so low that you normally wouldn't bother to mention. If one were to tweak the parameters describing the galactic plane, you could well find completely different results, he says. He also stresses that the model does not account for the fact that asteroids, which are not as far out as the Oort cloud, could have caused the craters. And even if the bounce effect were to cause a global catastrophe, we wouldn't come face to face with it in hundreds of thousands of years. Who knows where we will be by then? But for humanity to carry on its torch, we have to become a multiplanetary species or else we might face the same consequences as the dinosaurs. What do you think? Drop in your comments to let me know, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider becoming a member. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Territory, because this is your space.